everyone, today we're going to do five questions and answers on laser. It works by sending the light of a laser through the pigment or melanin of the hair. Slide the numbers to hit which damages the hair follicle and the hair. It works better in people with white skin and dark hair. This is because there is a greater difference in the pigment or melanin from their hair to their skin. In people with darker skin, the laser can bind to the pigment or the melanin in their skin instead of just the one in their hair. And that is why these skin types are more prone to having side effects with laser. However, we nowadays have different types of lasers and some of them are very adequate for these darker uh, skin types uh, depending on the wavelength that they use. bind to the pigmentation or melanin on your skin instead of just binding to your hair and you may get irritation or even burns. That is why you should always avoid uh, going to a laser session after uh, being on a holiday in the sun or after the summer. Normally you have to uh, stay away from the sun or from at least in intense sun exposure for around 15 to 30 days before getting your laser hair removed. Yeah, we do have to do it regularly and this is because the hair has different stages in its growth. Uh, the first phase is the anagen phase, the second one is the catagen phase and the third one is the telogen phase. Uh, the idea behind doing it um, in regular intervals is because we want to catch all of these hairs in the anagen phase at some point because it's the phase in which the hair is actually binded to the hair follicle and that is the only way in which we can make the laser light cross the hair and get to the hair follicle or the hair bulb and destroy it. Otherwise it would just bind the hair and destroy it but not the hair factory or the hair follicle so it wouldn't be effective. For the most part, yes, it will be gone if you get enough sessions, but uh, not completely. Most people report a hair reduction of 90%. This is uh, because uh, all of the hairs are not eliminated, because we don't catch all of them in the anagen phase, probably, and also uh, because some of the hair may grow back due to hormonal fluctuations. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have more questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be very happy to answer them, to solve your doubts if I can, and to help you make up your mind if you're uh, doubting to get your laser hair removal done or not. See you on the next video. Bye!